to my channel. My name is Luke. How you doing, right? We're in Portbury Docks right now, uh, getting loaded with slate, as you can see. Uh, we've got 19 pallets going on, which would be uh, 18 either side, nine rows, and then one on the back end. Um, we've got one more going on the back end there, and then the rest will be going on this side, uh, plus the one on, on the back. But um, yeah, so this is going to A or B tomorrow. Today is Thursday right now. Um, so yeah, get loaded. Uh, we're going to go back to the yard tonight and then set off tomorrow morning, go to Aylesbury and then I believe we are going to Cannock and getting loaded with uh, aluminium ingots to go to Honda in Swindon, which is really good. But yeah, anyway, let's get the rest of these pallets up. Uh, when I turned up, there's like five trucks parked uh, in front of me. Well, there was five trucks parked in front of me anyway. But um, none of their stuff was ready, whereas all mine was, which is uh, which is good for me. So that's why we're getting offloaded right now, and uh, everyone else is waiting. But um, yeah, so all the pallets are going on. As you can see, we've got a load of slate behind us as well. Happy days. Right, <sighs> let's get the rest of them put on. Right, we are loaded. It is five past four currently. Let's get out of here. We've got to do a... I'm sorry, that truck's gone past. Wouldn't expect that. We've got to do a blindside reverse to get out, which is always nice. So, let's give it a go. If we hear a honk, we stop. <laughs> bow, bow, bow. Let's clear these trailers. And turn left. That'll do. I always believe in going only as far back as you need to. I can get round here now, look. And uh, just as well I did stop because there was some slate there. So, lucky. Uh, my passenger curtain is not closed correctly. Yeah, that's not closed correctly. Okay, I'm gonna have to stop in a sec and do that up properly. Looks like the top part has come out. Yeah, definitely, definitely come out. As soon as I can stop, I will. We're safe in here for the moment. Do we still turn right out of here? We used to. Pole's definitely not in right. Okay, right, we're just going to pull over over here, sort the pole out. I'll take you with me, look, so you can see as well. Bam, bam, bam. Didn't really need to turn the engine off, but never mind. Right, let me, sh let me show you. Okay, so that's, that's how it's supposed to look, look. Yeah, that's not incorrectly. <laughs> right, let's let's uh Right. Let's try again, Mr. Pole. Hey, you're in properly this time. Happy days. And there we go. So it wouldn't have really done much because it was still it was still secure on the on the straps and it was still secure on the base. It was just the top bit that was uh, poking out ever so slightly, but needed to be done. So we've done that. Right, that's done. Windows up. Take the ivies off. Ugh. 
Ah, Craig. Craig, if you're watching. Lift you up. I got you some orange trousers, mate. You'll need them for Monday, so. I'm letting you borrow them. I want them back. <laughs> right, let's put the old seatbelt on. Get rid of my earpiece. Lights on, in gear. And let's go. Right. <laughs> So we are, we are now loaded for Friday, which is tomorrow. So happy days, happy days. Uh, as I said, so we're going to take this to, to Aylesbury, which in itself is a bit of a nightmare of a job. Come on, mate, I'm, I'm indicating left. I'm literally indicating left. Is it, yeah, the Aylesbury is a bit of a nightmare of a job in the sense that we've got to go past the job, turn round, and then reverse in off the main road, which can be a very busy road. Uh, also, what doesn't help matters is that today that very that very bridge has been hit by a truck. So I'm hoping, obviously, by tomorrow morning it'll be sorted. But um, fingers crossed it will be. What I'll do is I'll call the company up soon just to confirm a time that I can deliver in the morning because I'd like to get there as soon as possible, really. So yeah, so here we are again, approaching the yellow barriers, which I believe is uh, looking for contamination or something, I don't know, x-ray, gamma, something something like that. So it's just going to scan the inside of the, uh, of the trailer, make sure it's all good, which I'm sure it is. I've never had an issue before. So they, look, they should let me out, they should, should let me out. Uh, we got our gate pass here. That's our gate pass, so that gives us permission to, to leave with our loaded trailer. So happy days. Thank you, mate. Thank you very much. Right, let's give this to the police officer and get out of here. Okay, Mr. Policeman. Let me give you my permission slip to leave. Hello mate, you right? All good? Good mate. We're good to go. Right. <laughs> right, we're going to go back to the yard now. Uh, when I see you in the morning, I suspect I'm going to deliver around about seven, maybe half seven. So it could be getting light, because it's getting light now at that time of the morning. Happy days. Um, but it, it may still be dark. However, you can't really see now, but remember in my last vlog, I uh, nearly burnt the truck down because I put the wrong bulbs in. <laughs> Good news! I bought some 24 volt bulbs and oh my goodness, they are amazing. Even now, while it's still light out, watch this. <laughs> they are like, <laughs> they are proper good lights. Proper good lights. And uh, when it's really dark out, it illuminates the entire truck. Even during daylight, you turn them on and it lights the bunk up, even during daylight. Happy days. Uh, cost me 15, 16 quid off of Amazon for them, but it's like well worth it because there's nothing worse than parking up of an evening and having a candle lit light lighting up the rest of your evening. <laughs> but yeah, no, they are brilliant. I love them. Right, let's go back to the yard. I will see you guys in the morning when we are heading to Aylesbury. See you there. And good morning everybody, how are you all doing? Welcome back, it is the next day, uh, we've still got those uh, slates on the back of us uh, and we're delivering to International Slate Supplies. You can see there, look, brown, uh, oh, brown, blue, blue sign, it says low bridge, two miles ahead, that is where we are going. Um, there's actually two bridges on this A41 which we're on right now. One of them, back there, we just went past, um, a vehicle rigid but he had like styrofoam on the top and he just had to spin around because the sign was flashing saying you're too high and um, it was flashing for me as well saying that I was too high but I'm not I'm 4.2 meters the bridge is 4.5 meters so I'm 0.3 good but um, I think that's why the bridge may have got hit yesterday um, 
I'm not going to post pictures and say who it is or anything like that because I don't necessarily believe in sharing other people's misfortunes to benefit my own. So, um, I mean, not that I would be benefiting from it, but, you know, there, there are, there's a couple of Facebook pages that are purely advertising their business by sharing said picture. But, um, yeah, no, I'm not going to include it because I don't believe in it. But, yeah, what, it, was, it was over that bridge or the bridge that it's coming up to now, one of them. Uh, I just, I'm just not sure which one exactly it was that he hit. <laughs> right, International Slate Supplies. I've already phoned them up about three minutes ago. I said, I'm five minutes away, mate. Five minutes away. Can I come straight in? He said, yes, you can come straight in. Because we have to reverse in off the road and uh, there's only room for one truck. And it's a bit, it's a bit annoying because the, road the road's quite busy. Um, and hopefully we can get in nice and easy. But um, yeah, sometimes... Sometimes it's not easy. <laughs> uh, sometimes you're stopping to wait to get onto the other side of the road. And then uh, you can't get there. That's where we've got to reverse into there. So that's where we are going to be going in a minute. We're just going to go up here, turn around, come on back on ourselves. And then we're going to stop on the other side of the road, put our hazards on, try and swing in and reverse back without uh, impeding traffic too much. But, um, yeah be nice if we could drive in and then just reverse out but then they'd have to stop the traffic and they don't they don't want to do that so but yes but here's the uh the low bridge uh yeah so 4.5 meters i don't know whether it was this one that was here or the other one I'm not sure i got a funny feeling it was the other one because yeah it makes sense if it was the other one because they wouldn't have got to this one otherwise so yeah of course <laughs> right let's turn around Turn round. Uh, I just found out that Martin Trukajenko is also going to the same place I'm going to later on today in this video, but he probably will be there an hour or two before me, so he might not be there when I get there. Uh, and that's Honda in Swindon. So when we do this delivery, we're going to go pick up some aluminium ingots, <coughs> and then we're going to deliver that to Honda in Swindon. But uh, Martin's on his way there as well. Right, so we're already we got a car behind us, right up our bottoms. So he's gonna have to wait for us. The problem is when we we've got to, we've got to slow down and put our hazards on, and then when we sort of turn right and try and get the angle, sometimes the car keeps coming forward, and then the, then they're in your way basically. But we try and try and get it done as e as quickly and safely as possible. It's just not the nicest. Yeah, we've got loads of cars behind us now got to slow them right down to a, to, a, to a halt almost and then hope they don't try and overtake me. Let's get ready on the old hazard switch. Right, hazards are on. I've got to try and time it. Just turn my hazards off now. I'm into getting right to, to like to tell the guys behind me that I want to turn right. Just waiting for this car to quickly move. If you hurry up, I can do it. Yeah, the car started coming. Right, we're in, that's good. What we do is we do one side first and then the other. There we go, then we drive forward all the way onto the left-hand side, so they tip the right side first, and then uh, we shift over to the other side, and they, they then do the other side. Right, turn my hazards off, because it looks like, if any cars are coming from either direction, it looks like I'm indicating I want to go on the road. So I always turn my hazards off when I'm here. Right. 
we are good to go. Let's uh, go and get this off now. Right, we're tipped. Got the car left inside of me. What is he doing? For me, yes, it is. Out we go. Right, so we're now empty and we're uh, heading now to Canuck. It's about two hours to get there, good, good uh, 90 miles away. So we should be there for around about 11 o'clock. Uh, hopefully, we'll be loaded by 12 and then back in Swindon Honda by like two o'clock ish. Maybe, yeah, I can't know, maybe half two the latest. Um, get that offloaded and then I don't know what I'm doing from there I think the trailer needs an inspection and the truck so um, probably take the uh, the truck and trailer to DAF to be inspected and then be picked up at some point by someone I don't know I don't know so yes we're gonna make our way now to Cannock let's go and get these aluminium ingots if you don't know what they are they look a bit like imagine like a gold bar that's what it looks like but silver um, that's what we're gonna go and get right see you in a bit if you're looking to get into the HTV industry or you're already in the industry but want to refine your existing skills, I highly recommend that you purchase The Trucker's Handbook by Malcolm Green. There is a link in the description down below. This thing is absolutely ram packed with information. Anything and everything you need to know regarding HTV is in this book. Go and buy it. Link is in the description down below. Okie dokie, here we are in Cannock. We are about to get loaded with some ingots. Uh, hopefully we can go straight in, be loaded, uh, we'll probably be here for at least, I don't know, 30 minutes, 45 minutes, depends how quick they are, could be more than that. Um, so yeah, I'll, um, I'm going to try and show you the ratcheting up process as well, because uh, they're so heavy. What it is, it's not even a whole load, uh, well it is, <laughs> it is a whole load, but it isn't a whole load, it's not a whole load in terms of volume, it's a whole load in terms of weight, because um, the things are so heavy that they've got to go in the centre of the trailer uh, so you don't overload axles so um, we've got to really strap them up as well let's go on the way bridge get weighed in there's no one there so that's good we should be uh, able to get in and get loaded I'm going to go forward a bit more right let's go say hello and spin around. A little bit tight. Hopefully we don't hit the forklift. <laughs> we're in just wait here oh we've got to open the curtains and uh 
they load us up. Happy days. Right, let's go get loaded. Right, we are fully loaded now with these uh, with these ingots. Uh, we're going to get weighed in a minute on the way out. We should be uh, fully loaded. Um, so because they're so heavy, we can't have them all the way up against the headboard because it just overweight. It would overload the axles. So they've got to go centralised in the trailer to uh, to sort of average the weight across all the axles. So that's what we've got to do. Uh, unfortunately, because it's not against the headboard, we double strap. Uh, the front row just to give it extra security so we've got five rows of ingots there six straps we've got another five rows of ingots here six straps however i wasn't happy with the fact that you've got two tall ones and then a, and then like a small one either side i wasn't happy with that strap going over that way uh i think it was securing it down but it wasn't securing the small ones in my opinion i'm going back so I've just put a bit of ratchet going on the back end of it as well, just to give it some uh, backward protection. So yeah, that's the lot. What do you think? Let me know in the comments section about the, uh, the strap over there. That, would you have done that or would you have left it with just the one strap going over? But yeah, let's do the curtains up and then get on out of here. But there's still time left. We are loaded, we are strapped up, we've got our paperwork. Let's get my phone out of my pocket. Ugh. Put it on charge. Yeah, this is the paperwork, so we've got the delivery address of where we're going. Uh, tells us our weight. So we weigh almost, well, it's just over 42 tonne. Just over 42 tonne. So we've got 27 tonnes worth of aluminium on and we weigh just over 15 empty. And uh, looks like some samples, so each, each, uh, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I guess, uh, yeah. Each one of the things that they've made or molded or whatever, they got a sample for it as well. So if, uh, if Honda want to check it out for whatever reason, they can just test the sample, I suppose. I don't know. Something like that. But yes, we're loaded. Heading back to Swindon now. Should be there in two hours, but I will need to stop for a break on the way back as well. So we'll be stopping somewhere for a break. Got to, got to stop within the next 40 minutes. So we shall stop somewhere. But I will see you when we get to Swindon. See you in a bit. Right, so we are here now in Swindon. We're just about to come off at the next junction for Honda. Well, there's a Honda going past me, as I say that, Honda Civic. Not Type R, obviously. 
I got a type of. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so we're gonna come off the Honda. They are supposed to be uh, to be leaving Swindon soon, but um, I'm not sure if that's this year or next year. I can't remember. One of them. Right, so off we come. I'm not gonna be able to do too much filming. Actually, I won't. I won't be doing any filming with my GoPros uh, inside Honda because there, I'm pretty sure there is a sign somewhere within the the, uh, the factory that says no photography allowed. So uh, just better safe than sorry, isn't it? So yeah, there's the main entrance for Honda right on the other side of this roundabout. But um, we go in the other side. I think this, I think it's the north side. I think that's the south side. I think. Trying to imagine, imagine it on a map. No, that'd be that'd be north. No, no, no. We're heading north now, so that'd be south. Yeah, we're going the north side. Yeah, yeah. North, north is this way. <laughs> so, um, yeah, we go on in, and uh, I've, I've been here three times, maybe four times now, delivering these ingots. And um, there's a couple of different places they go to. So, um, should hopefully find out which place they got to go to, and I should know where they're going, which should be good. Well then, car, off you go. No indicating. Well done. Been in, been into that B and Q distribution centre many, many times. Um, yeah, I'm I'm pretty sure it's Luke Ten, but try try both. All right, mate. No worries. All right, see you in a bit, bye, mate. Right, we're here. So I just had a phone call from the uh, from the boss, asking for. Uh, my discount code for uh, national compliance training because uh, my actual boss is a uh, transport manager for another company which is good da -da 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 -da. right what do I need what do I need I take my phone with me just in case right let's go get this sorted back in a bit Right, we are tipped. Uh, we are out of the Honda gates, so filming has resumed. <laughs> um, yeah, we're good to go. Let's get on out of here. We're gonna go uh, straight back to the yard now. I haven't taken my eyes off, never mind. Um, yeah, so we are now done for the day. Uh, we were there for a little bit longer than I expected, actually. We got here at like two o'clock, and it's now now nearly four o'clock. Wow, well, yeah, nearly four o'clock. So. Yeah, we've been here a while, which is unusual. We're not normally here that long, but uh, never mind, never mind. So yeah, thank you very much for watching this video. I do appreciate it. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, so ne until next time, drive safe, stay safe, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye. I would get into the bus lane, but I know there are cameras there, so I don't want to get into the bus lane. <laughs> yeah, uh, until next time, drive safe, stay safe, like do not go into bus lanes, and uh, I'll see you soon. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.